Hi everyone, I'm gonna be talking about how to use the VA assumption loan versus VA purchase Excel sheet. So the one thing that I wanna to note to you guys is that you're gonna have the purchase price, which you can change, right? So if you wanna put million two as the purchase price, uh, you'll be able to do that. Uh, and you can also lower that amount as you please, right? So if you wanna do, let's say a $600,000 purchase, you're able to do so. Uh, the first mortgage that's going to be assumed can also be changed. So let's say the current balance is $347,000. It will automatically update those terms, uh, update the balance. You can also update the term as well. So if let's say uh, it's 180 months, you can do that versus the 360. You're able to change the interest rate as well, and it's going to adjust your payment. Now, in the event that the numbers can't be right, just because of, hey, they've paid down, uh, let's say they paid down 13 months. Well, the interest rate might not be, uh, the payment might not be accurate. So you can actually manually update the payment based on the mortgage payment. Now, no, when you do this, you want to keep away from any type of uh, prop taxes and insurance. It's just going to be based on what the principal payment on the property is, right? So let's say it's uh, 1400, you could just put a negative sign in there and automatically calculate that for you. The other piece to this is that on the new home purchase, this dollar amount doesn't change with the purchase price because it gives you some flexibility about seeing the differences between someone doing an assumption loan and someone doing a new purchase. So let's say in this example, right? I'll put the numbers back to where they were just briefly. So all the calculations are going to be the same, right? So let me just put in $600,000 here. So looking at the same deal, right, on an on a assumption loan versus what it's going to look like on a new purchase, right? In this case, you'll see that there's savings of about $462,000, even though the payments are very similar just because of the terms of the loan themselves, right? Which gives you that ability to potentially ask for more, right? So on a purchase price, so let's say doing the assumption, maybe it's worth $650,000 to save, you know, uh, $372,000. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're doing this. Uh, but again, you just you, all you have to do is just plug the numbers into the Excel sheet and the purchase price. Make sure you manually update the new purchase price to match that. Uh, update the first the actual assumable loan itself to whatever that balance is and then the rest of it will accordingly update and then it's going to show you what those savings look like if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to me and I'm happy to go over them with you thank you